Now, while the conflict in West Asia occupies America's attention, one country feels particularly neglected by its greatest ally. I'm talking about Ukraine here. Battered by two years of relentless Russian assault and dependent on the NATO to defend itself, Ukraine is struggling for more arms and more attention. Growing increasingly frustrated over the delays in Western aid, its president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has urged the West to defend Ukraine in the same way it defended Israel from Iran last Saturday. You see, when Iran launched hundreds of missiles and drones at Israel, Israel's Western allies helped in intercepting them. Meanwhile, Ukraine is facing a severe ammunition shortage. A vital aid package from the U.S. has been blocked for months by political wrangling. The Russians are taking advantage of this. The Ukrainian forces, in fact, are facing new onslaughts from Russian troops in the east. They are facing daily attacks on cities and infrastructure from Russia. And while Zelensky has showered praise on allied action that helped Israel, he also urged Ukraine's allies to provide the country with the same level of support. Modern aviation proves its effectiveness. Modern air defense systems are capable of protecting life. This was demonstrated in the Middle East when aviation and air defense shot down Iranian missiles and drones that were directed at Israel. The whole world sees what real protection is, sees that it is possible. And the whole world saw that Israel was not alone in this defense. The threats in the sky were destroyed also by the Allies. And when Ukraine tells its allies that unity provides the best protection, they already know the effectiveness of this very well. They know and provide. And when Ukraine says that the allies cannot turn a blind eye to Russian missiles and drones, it means that it is necessary to act and act strongly. The sky is not protected by rhetoric. The production of missiles and drones for terror is not limited by thoughts alone. Now, since the Ukraine war started in 2022, Iran has reportedly supplied thousands of Shahid kamikaze drones to Russia. The Russian military has launched hundreds of these Iranian drones to Ukraine to exhaust its air defenses. In fact, Russia has also used the Iranian drones to hit crucial Ukrainian infrastructure far away from the front lines. And as a result, Ukraine has for months urged its Western allies, especially the U.S., to summon the quote-unquote political will and send Kiev the air defenses and weaponry it needs to protect its skies. In fact, the Ukrainian foreign minister Dmytro Kuleba has been very blunt in his demand as well. Speaking on national television on Sunday, Kuleba said that talks were on to secure more American Patriot systems. But while he said that, you could sense a measure of frustration that Ukraine is feeling at this point. You know, given the time it is taking to acquire them. The Ukrainian foreign minister has said, and I'm quoting now, with all my due respect and gratitude to the United States of America, do you believe that the U.S. Army does not have one spare Patriot battery that it can transfer to Ukraine? That's what he asked. For months now, Ukraine has been battered by Russian attacks. Russian air assaults have wreaked havoc in Ukraine, pummeling Ukraine's electrical grid and leaving millions of citizens without electricity. And in contrast, last weekend, as military supplies from Iran, Iraq, Syria, Yemen advanced towards their targets in Israel, the U.S. forces reacted with fighter jets, a Patriot defense system, American destroyers. And America, by the way, was not alone in helping Israel. The U.K., France, even Jordan stepped up to aid Israel in defending itself. America and friends united to help Israel, apparently knocking down 99% of the hundreds of missiles and drones that were launched by Iran on Saturday. Naturally, Ukraine is frustrated and is feeling left out. The difference in the American response is not lost on Ukraine. Yes, America's focus has shifted to tensions in West Asia. Last week alone, Russia reportedly launched 130 Shahed drones. 80 missiles, 700 guided aerial bombs at Ukraine. Ukraine already outgunned 
and outnumbered, managed to fend off some of those, but the immediate international response to Iran's attack on Israel is proof of how West, Western air defense can actually save lives. For Ukraine, it was a vindication of what they had been asking for for so long. And as per the latest assessment by the American think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, Israel's successful defense against Iran's attack shows the vulnerabilities that Ukraine faces in the face of the continued degradation of its air defenses. Ukraine's geographic proximity to Russia is a major challenge. Russian missiles and drones only have to travel short distances to reach their targets, given Ukraine is just min giving Ukraine just minutes to react. And in comparison, Israel and its partners had several hours to prepare for the weekend strikes by Iran. As it stands now, a $60 billion aid package has been stalled in the Congress. Ukraine is in urgent need of ammunition. Otherwise, it risks losing that war. The question is, can the collective West afford losing the war to Russia? That's a question it needs to ask itself. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.